Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. In this video, let's discuss about ACA code. ACA refers to American Concrete Institute. ACA 318 is the code which is specially meant for building code requirements for structural concrete. So the recent version of this code is ACA 318. 2019 there is a commentary on building code requirements for structural concrete that is ACA 318 or 2019 so in this code we will be having the ACA 318 19 as well as that commentary they have mentioned in the code itself building code requirement for structural concrete that is ACA 318 2019 that is as per an ACA standard next commentary on building code requirement for structural concrete that is ACI 318 or 19. So that is reported by ACI committee 318. First let's look into the table of content. So in chapter 1 general details are given. Chapter 2 is notation and terminology. Chapter 3 is for referenced standards. Chapter 4 is structural system requirements. Chapter 5 is for loads and analysis. Chapter 6 is for structural analysis. Chapter 7 for one way slab. 8 is for two way slab. 9 is for beams. Chapter 10 for columns. 11 for walls, chapter 12 for diaphragms, 13 for foundation, 14 for plain concrete and chapter 15 column and slab column joined. 16 is for connection between members, 17 is for anchoring to concrete, 18 for earthquake resistant structures. Here you can notice that in a Indian standard we will be having the IS456-2000 similar to this ACI 318 and we will be having separate codes for earthquake, wind, load and uh, other low calculations. But in uh, ACI 318 it includes all the loads like earthquake resistant structure is also included in this ACI 318. Chapter 19 is for concrete design and durability requirement, 20 for steel reinforcement properties, durability and embedments, 21 is for strength reduction factors, 22 is for sectional strength, 23 is for strut and tie method, 24 is for serviceability and 25 is for reinforcement details, 26 is construction document and inspection, 27 strength evaluation of existing structures and then will be having having appendix totally 27 chapters we have and after that we have appendix appendix a is design verification using non-linear response history analysis appendix b steel reinforcement information appendix c is equivalence between SI metric, MKS metric and US customary units of non-homogeneous equations in the code. That's all about the content. Let's discuss all the chapters one by one. In this video, let's discuss the chapter one. First, let's look into chapter one that is general requirements. Class number 1.1 refers to scope of ACI 318. So this chapter addresses the following general requirement of this code purpose of this code applicability of this code interpretation of this code definition and role of building official and the licensed design professional construction documents testing and inspection approval of special system of design construction or alternative construction materials so these are all the scope of ACI 318. On the commentary, they have mentioned that this code includes provisions for design of concrete used for structural purposes, including plain concrete, pre stressed reinforcement, or both, and anchoring to concrete. This chapter includes a number of provisions that explain where this code applies and how it is to be interpreted. So, in the beginning of the chapter, is specially meant for where we apply this code and how it has to be interpreted so that is what we are going to learn from this chapter one next class number 1.2 so aca 318 building code requirements for structural concrete is hereafter referred to as this code and the official version of this code is the english language version using inch pound unit published by the american concrete institute so the language is english version and units are inch and pound Whereas in the commentary it is given as committee 318 developed the code in English using inch and pound unit 
based on that version committee 318 approved three other versions in english using si unit that is aci 318m in spanish using si units that is aci 318s in spanish using inch and pound units that is aci 318sus in class number 1.2.4 it is given as in case of conflict between the official version of this code and the other version of this code the official version governs so we need to consider the official version of this code next this code provides minimum requirements for materials design construction and strength evaluation of structural concrete members and systems in any structure designed and constructed under the requirements of general building code whereas in the commentary it is given as this code provide minimum requirements and exceeding this minimum requirement is not a violation of the code the licensed design professional may specify project requirements that exceed minimum requirements of this code so this code gives the minimum requirements what are all the design minimum requirements strength evaluation everything this code will provide and according to that standard the professional licensed professional has to specify the project requirements that exceeds the minimum requirement of this code in 1.2.7 it is given as if no general building code is adopted this code provide minimum requirement for the material design construction and strength evaluation of members and the system in any structure within the scope of this code next class number 1.3 which specify the purpose The purpose of this code is to provide for public health and safety by establishing minimum requirements for strength, stability, serviceability, durability and integrity of concrete structure. So these are all the very important terms. So this code provides the public health safety safety by establishing minimum requirements for strength stability serviceability durability and in integrity of concrete structures whereas in the commentary it is given as this code provides a means of establishing minimum requirements for the design and construction of structural concrete as well as for acceptance of design and construction of concrete structure by the building officials This code does not addresses all design considerations whereas in the commentary it is given as the minimum requirement in the code do not replace sound professional judgment or licensed design professional knowledge of the specific factor surrounding a project its design the project site and other specific or unusual circumstances to the to the project next applicability This code shall apply to concrete structure designed and constructed under the requirements of general building code. The provision of this code shall be permitted to be used for the assessment, repair and rehabilitation of existing structure. Let's see what is given in the commentary. Specific provisions for assessment, repair and rehabilitation of existing concrete structures are provided in ACA 56219. So they are telling the specific requirement for repair and rehabilitation of existing concrete structures are provided in another code aci 562 2019 existing structures in aca 562 are defined as the structure that are complete and permitted for use next in 1.4.3 applicable provisions of this code shall be permitted to be used for structures not governed by the general building code so the structures which is not governed by the general building code for that the provisions of this code shall be permitted whereas in the commentary it is given as structures such as arches bins and silos blast resistant structures chimneys underground utility structures gravity wall and shielding wall involve design and construction requirements that are not specifically addressed by this code so these kind of special structures are not addressed by this code so for these kind of special structures there are specific codes available separately so code requirement for reinforced concrete chimneys and commentary that is aca 30708 standard practice for design and construction of concrete silos and stacking tubes for storing granular material for that kind of structures we need to use aca 31397 code requirements for nuclear safety related concrete structures and commentary so for that we need to use aca 349 codes for concrete containments 
for that we need to use aci 359 the design of thin shells and folded plate concrete structure shall be in accordance with aci 318.2 building code requirements for concrete thin shells this code shall apply to the design of slab cast on stay in place non composite steel decks whereas in the commentary it is given as in most in its most basic application the non composite steel deck serves as a form and the concrete slab is designed to resist all the loads while in other applications the concrete slab may be designed to resist only by superimposed loads this code does not apply to the design and installation of concrete piles drilled piles and caissons embedded in ground except as provided in a through c whereas in commentary 1.4.7 it is given as the design and installation of concrete piles fully embedded in the ground is regulated by the general building code the 2019 edition of the code contains some provisions that previously were only available in addition to the provision in this code recommendations for concrete piles are given in aci 543 on recommendations for drilled piles are given in aci 336.3 on the recommendations for precast pre stressed concrete piles are given in recommended practice for design manufacture and installation of pre stressed concrete piling requirements for design and construction of micro files are not specifically addressed by this code this code does not apply to design and construction of slab on ground unless the slab transmit vertical load or lateral forces from other portion of the structure to the soil in the commentary it is given as detailed recommendation for design and construction of slab on ground and floors that do not transmit vertical load or lateral forces from the other portions of the structure to the soil are given in a ACI 360R design methods are given for structural plain concrete reinforced concrete shrinkage compensating concrete and post tensed concrete slabs this code does not apply for to the design and construction of tanks and reservoirs in the commentary it is given as requirements and uh, recommendations for design and construction of tanks and reservoirs are given ACI 350 ACI 334.1 or and ACI 327 or next class number 1.5 refers to interpretation this code shall be interpreted in a manner that avoid conflict between or among its provisions specific provision shall govern over general provisions whereas in the commentary it is given as general provisions are broad statements such as building needs to be serviceable specific provisions such as explicit reinforcement distribution for crack control govern over general provisions in 1.5.5 it is given as this code shall be interpreted and applied in accordance with plain meaning of words and terms used specific definition of words and terms in this code shall be used where provided and applicable regardless of whether other material standards or resources outside of this code provide a different definition In the commentary it is given as ACI concrete terminology 2018 is the primary resource to help determining the meaning of words or terms that are not defined in the code so there is another uh, code called ACI concrete terminology so that helps to determine the meaning of words or terms that are not defined in this code dictionaries and other reference materials are commonly used by licensed design professionals may be used as a secondary resources in class number 1.6 is referred to building official the building official shall have the right to order testing of any material used in concrete construction if the materials are of the quality specified 1.7 is for licensed design professional all references in this code to the licensed design professional shall be understood to mean the engineer in either 1.7.1.1 or 1.7.1.2 In the commentary it is given as licensed design professional is defined in 2.3 in class number 2.3 licensed design professional is defined the licensed design professional responsible and in charge of structural design work a specialty engineer to whom a specific portion of the structural design work has been delegated subjected to conditions of a and b the authority of the specialty engineer shall be 
explicitly limited to the delegated design work the portion of design work delegated shall be well defined such that the responsibilities and obligations of the parties are apparent in the commentary it is given as a portion of the design work may be delegated to a specialty engineer during the design phase or to the contractor in the construction documents examples of design work delegated to a specialty engineer or contract include precast concrete and post tension concrete design in class number 1.8 it is referred to construction document and design record the licensed design professional shall provide in the construction documents the information required in chapter 26 and that required by the jurisdiction whereas in the commentary it is given as the provisions of chapter 26 for preparing project drawing and specifications are in general consistent with those of most general building codes additional information may be required by the building official this is the last class in chapter 1 that is 1.9 testing and inspection concrete material shall be tested in accordance with the requirements of chapter 26 concrete construction shall be inspected in accordance with the general building code and in accordance with chapter 26 inspection record shall include information in accordance with 26 so how the testing and inspection has to be done all are mentioned in chapter 26 next one is approval of special system of design construction or alternative construction material so any special system of design or alternative construction materials we need to use for that we need to get the approval so friends that's all about chapter 1 of aci 318 2019 it mainly focuses on the general things in the upcoming chapters we will be getting to the technical uh, more technical terms so i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos thank you for watching